I call this meeting of the Pittsburgh City Commission to order. Commissioner Ketterman and Commissioner Gray will be joining us tonight by phone. Would you stand for an invocation tonight given by Mark Chambers of First United Church? Please join me in prayer. Father, we thank you that we can come together and discuss the wonderful growing pains here in Pittsburgh. And we ask your blessings upon each commission member, our city manager, all of his assistants, and all of the department heads. May they all work together. And in the spirit of Pittsburgh, may we make great decisions to keep our city safe, beautiful, and inviting. And bless all the other business tonight, and may your spirit bless them in all the decisions that they make. And continue to watch over in us and give us uh, peace and give us protection. We ask these things in thy name. We pray. Amen. Of the United States of America and to the Republic for which it stands, one nation, under God. Indivisible, I have a proclamation tonight. Deborah Beechner, join me down front. Sure. <laughs> All right, here we go. I have a proclamation. Whereas the National Association of Women in Construction was founded in 1953 in Fort Worth, Texas, gaining its national charter in 1955. And whereas knowing that women represented only a small fraction of the construction industry workforce, the founders organized NAWIC to create a support network for these women. And whereas dedicated to advancing the role of women in construction industry. The local SEK chapter number 382 was established in 2013 with 28 members. And whereas members of the SEK chapter number 382 are active in the community by sponsoring Hearts and Hammers, Block Kids, and assisting families in need. Now therefore, I, Chuck Munsell, Mayor of the City of Pittsburgh, Kansas, do hereby proclaim the week of March 6th through the 12th, 2016, as Women in Construction Week in Pittsburgh, and encourage the citizens of Pittsburgh to join in recognizing the skill and expertise exhibited by women in the construction industry. Congratulations. Thank you. Thank you very much. It's such an honor. Um, on behalf of SEK number 382, we'd like to thank you all. And like you said, it was uh, founded in 1953 in Fort Worth, Texas. Um, <clears throat> in 1955, it was a charter. And NAWIC has 131 chapters in and one in almost every state. And it also has a core purpose worldwide with affiliations in Canada, Australia, New Zealand, United Kingdom, South Africa, and our local chapter, like you said, was in 2013 with 28 members. Um, a lot of people are not, I don't think, really know we exist or what we're about, and that's what, you know, we appreciate you guys proclaiming us here tonight. Um, we do a lot of networking, industry speaking, and professional education, leadership development, public speaking, community service projects, um, national publication, The Image, uh, liaisons with other industry associations, regional and national education conferences, career and job leads, professional certifications, mentoring, legislative and legal updates, and information on new industry standards. And we would like to generate inter interest in all women who are connected in the construction field. Um, there's a lot of affiliated places that people really don't realize. For instance, maybe somebody works for an insurance company that sells insurance to a construction company of whatever affiliation, or maybe a bank that finances construction, whether it be residential, commercial, or civil. So 
We welcome them all. If anyone's interested, my name is Deborah Beechner. I'm the president, and they can contact me at 620-232-2900. We are also uh, having a get-together at the Pitt State Technology Center Thursday night at 530, where we get to play on the simulators. How fun. <laughs> so if anyone's interested, just let us know. Thank you very much. Thank you. Open the meeting to public input. Is anyone would like to come forward and uh, state their name and address and talk a little bit about what they want to talk about? All right. Thank you. Um, I'm Gina Penamonte. I live at 706 Mill Road here in Pittsburgh, and I would like to ask the city to look into or review the section 6-2 of the Pittsburgh City Code that concerns alcoholic beverages prohibiting entry of persons under the age of 21 into an establishment that doesn't have 60% of their sales um, food rather than alcohol. And the reason why I bring this up is I'm really excited about the new restaurants that you see popping up in Pittsburgh. And in particular, it was downtown at the Brickyard Grill. And it was full on a weekday or an evening and I brought my kids in there and my husband and we had some wonderful burgers. I ate absolutely too much. But we were talking to the owner and he reminded us that minors can't enter by themselves because their business model is more of a bar and grill. So where another restaurant may shut down at 10 o'clock, they keep on going into the 2 o'clock hour. And for them to meet the 60-40 is not a possibility. Uh, one suggestion would be to allow minors entry during the grill open hours, which may be lunchtime until 10 p.m. But I just would re request that you review it and um, see if that's a possibility. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Are there any other public input for tonight? Seeing none, I close this portion of the meeting to public input and move to consent agenda. Are there any items to be removed for discussion? This is Michael. I'd like to remove item F. F, Michael? F Got you. I'd entertain a motion to approve the consent agenda uh, omitting item F. So moved. Second. And moved and second. Roll call vote. Gray? Aye. Johnson? Aye. Ketterman? Aye. Munsell? Aye. Murnan? Aye. All right, Michael, item F. I, I'm simply removing item F because of the filing that the SKO has to I'd like to abstain from the vote on that, on that item. Move to approve. Second? Second. Moved and approved to uh, approve. All in favor say aye. 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 All opposed, same sign. Thank you. Consider the following 2016 Little Balkans Festival. Considering the request submitted by the Little Balkans Festi Festival Committee to host the 2016 Little Balkans Festival on Broadway from 4th Street to 11th Street on September 2nd through 3rd. Yeah. Mayor and Commissioners, uh, I'm here representing the Little Balkans Committee. Uh, Angela Meyer, our chairperson schedule didn't fit uh, to be here today. We know that it's an annual event, uh, but we still felt like we should bring it before you because we're making some, some logistical changes. Uh, what we would like to do this year is close Broadway from 4th Street north to 11th Street. We think that will make uh, the event even safer because we will not have anything south of 4th Street. So 4th Street won't need to be crossed by pedestrians. Um, and that's always kind of a problem when, when a festival is going on, they really don't pay a lot of attention to the lights. So that won't be an issue. Um, we think it will assist the farmer's market because we're going all the way down to 11th Street. So we think we'll drive people down to the farmer's market. 
the big change is we would like to close uh, Broadway at 1 o'clock on Friday. Last year we tried a two-day event and it worked reasonably well. We were there Saturday and Sunday. We found out Sunday really isn't a good day. Uh, it's church day and a lot of people don't come back out on, on Sunday. The vendors enjoy a two-day festival. So we would like to close Broadway Friday afternoon, let the vendors come in and set up. That also will be in conjunction with, little, with uh, Paint the Town Red. So we're working with the chamber and trying to get some coordinated events for Paint the Town Red. Um, and so we think the vendors will still get their two days. They'll get the Friday evening and then when the concert is finished, when the main concert is finished on, on Saturday evening, the streets will be opened up and, and everything will be gone. So we wanted to bring that to you just to let you know what we're planning to do. We, we have checked with the high schools. Fortunately, Pittsburgh High School is out of town at a away game on that Friday. That would cause some congestion with a football game and having, although we wouldn't interfere with it, we would interfere with people being able to get to the, to the, uh, to the stadium down Broadway. So we just wanted to bring that to you and see if there were any concerns that we should address. If not, uh, we would ask for your approval to to proceed and what with your approval on this then my next step is to begin to inform the downtown that of, of Friday's closing and Saturday's last year we had a really good response from the merchants that wanted to actually bring their items out onto the street along with the vendors that came in and we feel like we'll even have an opportunity to do that even more and one other thing we've we had some concerns from merchants that when we closed off at 7th Street we never got down to their business so from 4th to 11th is going to catch the, the majority of merchants that would want to have something out on Broadway. So we think it's a kind of a win-win situation for everyone. Talking uh, Friday the 2nd of September? Uh, it looks like that's the... Yes. Okay, great. Uh, any questions for Jeff? I'd move to approve. Second. Moved and second. All in favor? <coughs> Signal by saying aye. 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 All opposed, same sign. Motion carried. Thank, Thank you, you, Jeff. Thanks, Jeff. Thanks, Jeff. Non agenda reports and requests. By monthly budget review, Finance Director Jamie Clarkson will provide the February 29th, 2016, bi monthly budget review. Jamie? Good evening, Mayor and Commissioner. Uh, you put this load up on the screen there. Uh, this is the uh, uh, a budget recap uh, for the 2016 fiscal year through February. Uh, it's early in the year. It's uh, <clears throat> about 16% of the year. Uh, sh February is a short month, so it's a little bit under 16%. But uh, I don't have anything that really stands out. Uh, the utility expenditures are up a little bit, but that's just due to uh, debt payments that are required in February uh, each year for the debt on uh, public utilities. Uh, the one thing I do want to bring to your attention is uh, the sales tax through February of this year compared to last year is, is down 4%. Uh, if you recall back in, I think in uh, January, in your weekly reports, I think it was up three over 3% 3 for January, but now it's down 4% after February. I don't know if the state's holding on to that money a little longer. Maybe we'll, we'll, get, we'll get it in March. Uh, we'll have to wait and see. Uh, I don't think we should hold our breath. Yeah. <laughs> but anyway, uh, the revenues are, are good. Uh, ex expenditures are about right where they are. Uh, one, another good thing is that so far the utility revenue is tracking right on schedule. Remember last year we had a couple dips in there. We had to sweat it out till the end of the year. Uh, does anybody got any questions? I don't have any. Well, sometimes this is actually for the month of December, and sometimes the state will cut off early due to holidays, and then it catches back up the next month. But you know, that's just my personal opinion. I can't I can't prove that. Uh, it's just from tracking it over the years. I've seen it happen like that before. Uh, but let's keep our fingers crossed for March, and we'll rebound back up. Any other questions for Jamie? Thank you, Jamie. 
Thank you, James. All right, thank you. An executive session is necessary for discussion regarding confidential data relating to financial affairs of a corporation. A motion to recess in executive session approximately 30 minutes for discussion regarding confidential data. Is there a motion to? Second. Moved and second. All in favor? Say aye. 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 All opposed, same. Aye. All opposed, same time. We are in executive session.
Just right. a non-agenda, but nothing big. We're back from executive session. No decisions were made, no votes were taken. Under non-agenda items, can I request that um, we look into what Gina mentioned and just bring us some information mm. back? Can I do that? Yeah, can we, can I, can we bring you back our, what we would recommend? Yes, that, absolutely. That fair enough? That would be great. Is that it? <laughs> Motion That's it. Uh, Second. We are adjourned, but I just realized we didn't have Michael and John transferred back over here. So. They say goodbye. Oh, they did? <laughs> All right, good deal. We are adjourned. Careful going to pick it. I'm leaving the